Hi everyone and welcome to Catherine Cooking Channel. This is the rose sponge cake with two color and a beautiful outer skin. The cake was made from the traditional style without adding any milk or oil and without separating the egg yolk and egg white. This rose sponge cake has two layers. The outer layer is soft and has a texture like a lion. The inner layer is a very soft and moist sponge cake. It has the smell of the pendant leaves. The filling for the cake I use the egg and milk. Mix together and cook on low heat. This rose sponge cake is very delicious. The texture is so soft and fluffy. This is the cake that I used to eat when I was a child. I like to eat this cake a lot when I was very young. The cake that I used to eat in my childhood, it has the feeling of the buttercream. It's also soft and delicious just like this cake. I make this cake with traditional style without adding anything besides egg, sugar and the cake flour. It's so completely different with the modern style that you separating the egg and you add the milk, the oil. This is the style in the old days. The cake is so soft. When I put this cake overnight, it's still very soft. For the ingredients, with the outer layer, I have 50 grams of sugar. And for the inner layer, the sponge cake, I use 150 grams of sugar. I use tapioca starch for the outer layer which is 80 gram and for the inner layer I use about 300 gram of cake flour make sure to put this flour to the strainer before I make the cake I usually put the egg in the room chamber to at least one hour to make this cake it takes a lot of eggs almost over 20 eggs I use two trays to make this cake I put baking paper over the tray To make the outer layer of the cake, I just use the egg yolk and I don't use the egg white. The total egg yolk to make the outer layer gonna be 16 egg yolk. If you use the bigger size of the egg, you can use 15 egg yolk for the outer layer. Mix the sugar with the egg yolk and put it in the mixing bowl. Then mix from 4 to 5 minutes. Then add the tapioca start and mix again from 1 to 2 minutes. Now put the butter on the tray and even it out then bake it at 375 for 15 minutes. 
Then let it cool down a little bit before removing it from the tray. After cooking the outer layer of the cake, it will look like this. It's so beautiful. Look very nice on the spawn cake. For the rose spawn case, I use 7 eggs. I keep the egg yolk and the egg white together. I add the sugar to the egg and then I put it in the mixing bowl. I mix the egg from 4 to 5 minutes. Then I slowly put the flour through the strainer to the egg mixture. Mix well from 1 to 2 minutes. This is the color of the fruits that I use to make this cake. This cake gonna have that color and the other color which is the pendant color. Take half of the mixture and mix with the pendant leaves extract. The other half mix with the fruit liquid. Mix well and put them in the tray. Bake them at 320 degrees for 20 minutes. 
then stack this bone cake on top of the outer layer that I cooked earlier. Make sure to spread the filling in between. This filling is made from egg, milk, and sugar. Mix well on low heat. This cake is so soft and delicious. It tastes sweet and has a smell of the pandan leaves. I like to eat this cake a lot when I was a child. I remember I used to go to the store to buy this cake all the time when I was young. I have wanted to make this cake a long time ago. Almost from 3 to 4 years ago, I have wanted to make this cake. But I'm just too busy, I never have the time to do. And now I have a lot of free time, so I like to make this cake a lot. This cake should be kept in the fridge after cook. 